to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Guns. Self-defense. Conceal carry. This is the Patriot Defense Podcast. From the war room in Idaho's high desert, here's your host, Todd Eccles. And we are back once again. It is, well, once again, once again. What, what day is it? It's Tuesday. It's election day. It's Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. I inserted my own Easter egg. I'm going to see if I can hear it later. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and we are tucked away in the war room somewhere in the high desert of southern Idaho. And with me today is the Cajun Cowboy. He's, he is back. You're uh, back, I'm sir. Back. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to just start this podcast off by saying... This was like spur of the moment. It was. It was. I was driving by. So I'll be there in 10. Yeah, I was like, I, you know, I got a job to do, but I don't think I got enough time to do it. So I got a little time to kill. So you, this is your second job. Huh? This is your second job. Okay. That you don't get paid for. Yeah, I don't get paid for. You don't go, well, what's uh, what's the Cajun Cowboy been up to lately? Much? Oh, man. It's, well, you know, you remember our work. October is the worst yes, yes. month of the year. And, uh... On top of that, I had some major audits. All that's gone now. Now it's November, and you know it goes from the worst month of the year to cake, baby. Cake, yeah, yeah. Cake. So it, it gets nice. It, it gets nice. It gets really nice. So yeah, I'm got to get through this week, and then I'm gonna try to chill as much as I can. <laughs> Get some regular podcasts. Enjoy out. the winter. Yeah. Well, and you just released the. Uh, Forgotten American just released. A, <laughs> I, I was going to add to the so Forgotten American just you just did a podcast like today. I did today? Look at you! Like it's like podcast fever. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I can't be stopped. Can't. I'm on a roll. Who? Were, who's? Whose podcast are you doing next? <laughs> <laughs> go back home. Do another one. Maybe I'll go do a, a live election coverage. Oh, ooh, <laughs> let's go sit out in front of the. Mor- we'll it. go sit out in front of the Mormon Church. Okay. Is there some? Oh yeah. We'll be like Jack booted thugs. We could do that. We could. Yeah, well, if we we got to go as Black Panthers, and then we won't get charged. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect. We're, we're the new white Black Panthers. Well, I just showed, <laughs> I, I just showed you some firearms we could take. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think the Black Panthers, do they bring guns or do they bring sticks? Uh, sticks. Well, I got sticks. Okay, okay. I, I'm good with sticks. I got a sword. Okay. There we go. How come I think we're going to be on a list? I, I don't know who you are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so... Uh, Why is my phone battery dying all of a sudden? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is just an area. It's just what it is. I, I've kind of marked, you know, okay, uh, for good, for bad. Who knows? Who knows? We but know. um, So I, I showed you some guns that I actually got, uh, like, just handed over to me. Like, they're like relics. Yeah, people they're, just uh, giving you fire. They are, and I don't know. That's, I don't know. Should I be worried? <laughs> Not with those. <laughs> Not with those. But if anybody wants to give away any firearms, that's some Todd ni- has reached his limit, so you can reach out to me. <laughs> that's some 1980s unsolved mystery stuff going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's long past the statute Eight, of limitations. 1880s. You're all right. You're all right. <laughs> so we were just, we were just looking at These people were killed in the Civil War. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. No, I had, some, I had some students that had some, they had some guns that, uh, you know, they were actually just going to, like, turn into the museum, right? Because they, they couldn't find anyone that wanted them. They... I don't know that they function. I'm not even sure that I would try to make them function, but they're really cool wall hangers. One of them is an old uh, Winchester um, uh, lever action 12 gauge. I think I'd put some birdshot in it and test to see what happens. Yeah. yeah so oh, nice. if you don't hear from me in a week, it's, it's okay. Because things went badly. Well, it's just birdshot. Yeah. Well, it's also a big concussion and it's missing parts. Oh, well. Just a screw, right? Just a screw. Okay. Well, Jam a drywall screw in there. We'll, yeah, that's, there you go, man. Put a stick in <laughs> Put a dowel. Exactly. Bang it in with a hammer. Exactly. It'll be fine. <laughs> just, just go for it. <laughs> hey, real quick question, though, and I always ask this of you because, you know, you. I asked this of you and I asked this of old uh, old Magnum uh, when he's on here, but uh, do you got your eye on anything? Like, is there any, like, firearms out there? Because I know you're Mr. Canic. Yeah, I'm pretty set. I know you're Mr. Canic, but is there anything, rifle, hang, anything you ha- you just like, I got to freaking have that? Not really. I've uh, I've kind of settled down with once I got what I what I got, you got to you got to you got to bring something pretty impressive to yeah. to pull me back out. 
and get me in because I was in a fever there for a, a few years. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you were. I was uh, thinking about you today. Actually, I was like, man, if I only knew. <laughs> I've I've I, I bought probably I don't know maybe sixty firearms. Oh, there you go. Trying to find this or that, and I'm like, eh, this ain't no good. Give it away. You give yeah, it away. Well, you got what nah, you sell it. They'll give it to you for a dollar. Get out of here. <laughs> I got a dollar. Yeah, I'm out of guns though now. <laughs> <laughs> I took some loss in those, man. Oh. Well, it was so it, it it's something about it that just drove. It, when I pay that much for a firearm, and then it's like you can bring it back, we'll give you half price. I'm like, I put three rounds to it, five rounds. It's like it. a car. Yeah, I'm like, I can't do. I'd rather give it away. Yeah, I'd rather give it away. Yeah, oh, screw yeah. you. Give him the finger. I don't need you. Give him the finger and move on. Yeah, and then yeah. I come back. What you got new? <laughs> <laughs> You're hooked, man. You're hooked. I, I was it's searching. Kind of, it's kind of like your crack. I was searching. I was searching. I had yeah. to find the one, and I found it. There you go, and it it be the canic. It's the canic. It is the canic. Now I need to get in some practice, and Wait. it was too hot in the summer. And now it's freezing. You know where to come. I know. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't. You know. This was a strange year for work. Oh yeah, no, it was, it was. Well, I've I we were shorthanded. I've spent the last year coming up on you. You know, you listen to all podcasts. So, how many times have I mentioned? Oh, I found a gun I want to buy, and then I like don't buy it. Yeah, you, you, you. I get You're much more disciplined than I am. <laughs> You'll find something that you like. Oh man, this is so sweet. And a week later, I'm like, did you get it? And I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm like, now, nah, I, I, no. So it's we've come full circle. I say I want it, and I'm not going 24 hours. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. Well, I, I'm on an, I'm on another one. I think I may have started with this one a while back, but I'm back to it. Is okay. uh, HK man? I'm just sold on my HKs. Right. And I, I'm thinking I'm thinking probably beginning of the year. I'm probably going to wait till after the end of the year, just kind of for tax reasons and whatnot. Um, I think I'm going to pick me up an HK P30. Yeah, I heard you talking about that. I think I want, I think I want the P thirty, and uh, so there's uh, explain the details of the P thirty. The P thirty, you know, it's uh, it's a it's a double a double single, right? Wow. Yeah, and so it'd be a little different from what Todd normally has, and from what I normally I speak of myself in the third person there, <laughs> uh, from what I normally have. But they've got a version of it, and I was talking, you know, I was talking to Magnum about it. And he was kind of giving me the because he had a P thirty for a while and he does everything to me slicks up to i mean he makes them just nice right and it's like it's like a perfect little it was perfect i just liked it a lot and then he freaking sold it and i couldn't afford to buy it at the time and uh but they have what they call the lem trigger and i i can't really explain the trigger very well i'd have to get him on here but it's like their top-notch trigger it makes it so it's got like the take up is like nothing and you know all this stuff right that 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 um the double action is like there but it's you still have the travel but it's like nothing it's smooth it's nice and then you can buy i can buy just a stock gun or it's a nine mil or i can go to uh oh yeah what is is it is it uh the professional series yeah is it like Lang, <laughs> langley is it Lang? do you know the tactical place i'm talking about no Lang- i heard you say it on uh, a previous where, podcast where is it it's not on here Let um they trick it out huh yeah, I want to find it now, damn it. What color did they what color did they paint it? Black. That's it. That's it. It's black. It's good. Yeah, I put some gold on it or something, man. You gotta black, pimp it out. Black is beautiful. Black and gold. Black is beautiful. <laughs> um, but no, they they uh so they trick it all out. It's for quite a bit more money. So I think the base uh, not the base model, but the every day average go to the store and buy it. You're looking at about seven hundred bucks. Which isn't bad for a decent gun, no, ain't right? Bad, ain't bad. But if you go and have all the trigger work done on it, and you have it like milled for an optic, wait a minute, wait a minute. it comes with the LEM trigger, and then you gotta have trigger. They work? can do better. Oh. Yeah, this the tactical play is it Lang, Lang Langley Tactical Langford Tactical? Freaking, I don't know. Someone will tell me, but they actually can do make it better. Mm. And so I'm looking at it, and oh. then and then if if I want to put an optic on it, they have to. What do you do? If I want to put an optic on it, they have to mill it out, but they have to like move a bunch of stuff on the inside. Yeah, I knew I'd do that. Sorry about that. Very unprofessional. And so I'm thinking about getting that package, man, but it's like twice twice the amount. Okay. 
but I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I haven't treated myself, right? I mean, I haven't went out and got like a, I don't have a really high, expensive, fancy, get everything done to it firearm. I mean, you have some, right? Yeah, they were a waste, man. <laughs> 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 they really, they really were. It was like, good grief. Or should I buy, should I buy the fancy one that's like twice the amount, or shall I just buy two of the standard ones with the LE? and then work on making the other one fancy myself. Magnum slicks him up. He does. I, maybe I just buy two. <laughs> <laughs> one for each hand. Dual wield. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure Magnum will chime in. Uh, he'll he'll probably message me and go, "Well, uh the two guns is better than one, dude." I don't know. I I've always you can live by this. Look at my life. Whenever I cut corners and go a little cheap, I usually regret it. And when I go all out and spend everything and say, give it to me, I usually regret it. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm pretty much screwed either way. Aren't I? So, so either way, uh, you're going to get a good gun and you're always going to be thinking it could be better. Yeah. Or you're going to get a great gun and you're always going to think, I paid too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and then to top it all off, you know, I bought that rifle the other day, that Victory Saint, yeah, Victor Saint Victory Victory, whatever, by Springfield Armory. Okay. And I need to get an optic for it as well, there so I got to spend money there too. Maybe I buy one P thirty base model, okay, without the AC. Okay. And then maybe I buy uh, like an LVPO or something for uh, um, my uh, for my my AR. I'm curious. Anyway, I want to go to this website. I want to see what they do for canics. I don't. Well, see, this place is a big double single place. I don't. They're a big double action, single action yeah. type place. I don't think they're going to mess with yours. But the canic actually, the canic has come out with not a brand new gun, but they got new color options. Can't improve it. They, they well, it, <laughs> it's the same, but they cut out with new options. They got all these different camo options, and I'm sure what it is is everyone's coming out with this crap because of what what's coming up. Shot show, okay. Shot show is going to be probably you know in January. Shot show's kind of been pretty dead the last couple of years. Well, it's COVID like, didn't help. Yeah, it, right? but they didn't really, you know, you. You, and may, you bring your good stuff to SHOT Show. But maybe that's uh, maybe people un, uh, know that, and so that's why there's a lot of people that are... Where is this at? I might hold off on a gun to a SHOT Show passes anyway. Yeah, just to see what, they, what else comes out. Unless you're 18 out. to 20. Yeah, let's... Uh, do, why? why? Why would that be? The FBI. That's a good lead-in, dude. <laughs> I've trained you well. <laughs> uh, the FBI is sending out notice to all federal firearms dealers about an update to the NIC system. So if you're 18 to 20, and this starts when? I think November 14th. When does this start? Yada, 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 yada. Uh, when does this start? I don't see where it starts. It starts soon. I got another page for it. Um, so they. So this is like out of the blue, right? Uh Pretty much. Uh, basically, they're saying from the bipartisan, I love that, Safer Communities Act oh, of 2020 God. that passed in June. They're allowed to do this as an enhanced background check. Yeah, November 14th it will start. So if you're between 18 and 20 and not 21 yet, they're going to hold your NICS check until they can do a psychological background check, a juvenile uh, records check. And all that stuff. So, mm. so that, uh, if so, I wanted something when I was twenty, I would get it right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Today, so it's one of it's, <laughs> yeah. It's, so it's one of those things where, I mean, I didn't. I mean, God dang it! I mean, I, I I immerse myself in this every day. Like I do a radio show on the stuff, and like even the guy that I do the radio, like this hasn't been on the radar. So this tells me that this is possibly something that was in one of those bills that was passed that you just we just overlooked. Yeah, that's was, what they're saying. It was it, it was buried, right? They're saying it passed in June. Uh, it was the Safer Com Communities Act, uh, which you know that's like the. Safe, inflation reduction safer act. community yeah it's ridiculous uh but that passed in june and they sent this out this is being reported today uh breaking news as of uh 
Yeah, starting November 14th if you're wow. 18 to 20. Uh, so pretty much in a week. Yeah. Yeah. You're, Interesting. You're going to have a slowdown. Now, how much of a slowdown? Uh, maybe it's a week. Maybe it's six, eight months. You've gotten a – Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. You have any class threes. But – and no, I do not. <laughs> yeah, you gives us some enhanced background checks. Yeah, yeah. You'll wait 18 months. This is just one of their ways of jumping in there, slowing down the system, denying. I mean, that, that's what they're going to do, right? Yeah, just tying it up. In, 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 in months, you could find something that's off. Like, are they going to, like, go cruise through and check your social media and see what you freaking posted? I don't know. I mean, because, I mean, what are they including in this? You said there's, like, a mental health background type. Yeah. So, I mean, what do they, you know, you makes you wonder. I don't know. You don't know the answer, yeah, but not what, what, are, what are they looking at? Are they looking for that, that one weird FUD joke that you put on freaking Facebook? <laughs> Subscribers uh, to my podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because, I mean, you don't, you don't know what they're going to use, right? No. no. And honestly, we got to wait and see what, the, what, it, what they're actually saying. They're going to do what the procedures are. And then they're probably lying. Right. Oh yeah, they, they, they're getting plenty of time to come up with something. Yeah, and then they they lie, and then yeah. they'll do usually uh, what they'll do is they'll get a bill passed to say anything, and they'll take it ten times further than it's supposed to go, and make you fight it back in court, and that's just the way they do it. Well, it's right here; we can do that. They always overstep. They always overstep. Yeah, they just do. That's the name of the game. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so... Infringements. Yeah, so there was this awesome... Smith & Wesson just announced a new firearm today. A new oh. fi new firearm. I know, and this is weird to me. And maybe they knew, saw this coming. So, well, 18, 20-year-olds, they can't really buy these anyway because uh, it's an actual handgun. But it's weird that some of these companies are coming out with this stuff like before, like before SHOT Show. You know, they're not waiting till SHOT Show for like the big reveal. I'm not quite okay, sure. it's... it's uh a big change then, huh? It, usually, they, you know, all the new stuff comes out right. at, at SHOT Show. And yeah, so, save everything. But, Especially if you don't have nothing, unless you got something that's going to blow this away. But maybe, I know last year there was a bunch of uh, companies that didn't even go to SHOT Show. Yeah. So maybe they're just, maybe that's a thing of the past. But Smith & Wesson came out, okay? They came out, and they said that they are bringing out a gun, a new handgun called the Equalizer. The Equalizer. So if you want to buy it on the name, that's kind of a cool name. The Equalizer. It is chambered to 9 millimeter. says the Equalizer features next generation easy technology. An optics cut slide with deep serrations, a Picatinny style rail, a 10 plus 1, a 13 plus 1, or a 15 uh, plus 1 magazine option. Okay, now this new easy, is that something that's already out, like a second generation that's already here? Or is this something totally redone? I'm looking at the gun here, and it looks, you know, a little... I mean, you got a couple of easies. I got a 1380, and, I'm, and you know, the easy comes in 9 mil. I'm looking at this gun, and it does, it looks, it looks different, right? You know, obviously maybe a little bit bigger, but when they talk about the easy technology, I'm thinking it's going to have that uh, easy rack slide on it. Yeah, but a new... I don't know, but the new the new part of it would be that it's going to be optic. It's going to be cut for an optic. <laughs> Man, which which so when they say new, one little thing at a time. Well, what they what they mean what they may mean is that you couldn't take. I don't think you can take nowadays easies mm -hmm. and you can put an optic on them because of that that light recoil spring. That uh -huh. re so they I think this is probably they figured out how to do it so you can add that extra weight of the optic on. I would imagine that's what they're talking about. Okay. It still has it still has the grip safety, which I really like the easies. I know I don't carry one, but I think they've saved a lot of people in my class, right? right. New shooters, older shooters, people who are recoil sensitive. Absolutely love it. And in fact, I just spent the last uh, I, over the last two or three weeks. I had a group of ladies out here three times, and they borrowed my EZ. The one did, and she absolutely, absolutely loves it. And it shows in her shooting. It yeah. works for her. The one, the one bad thing with the EZ, okay, and EZ is is man, I is a niche gun. It's a great firearm, but it's got a grip safety on it. And I'm not, I'm not all for grip safeties. I understand why why it's on here because it forces you to do what? Have a good solid grip on the gun. The bad part about these grip safeties is unlike the Springfield Armory, which has grip safeties, or the like 1911s, right? They got grip safeties. 
they aren't hinged at the top they're hinged at the bottom mm. so you really gotta squeeze in that thing you have to squeeze in hard and if you got an maybe an older shooter right a more elderly they have a hard time keeping their grip on that and they can actually get up above where that grip safety stops and yeah. they don't get it depressed that web of their finger between their thumb and their pointer finger gets up there and they don't get it depressed which causes them to do what to they go to shoot it doesn't shoot so then they readjust their grip on it while their freaking finger's still on the trigger and they leverage it you know what i'm saying yeah. and then the gun goes off that could i i can't be the only one that's saying this that could be fixed and i understand why they have a grip safety on because it makes people feel a lot more why don't they have it hinged at the top this i don't is, know this is dumb improve that right improve that and then it's, it's a great it's a great firearm does it have another safety besides the grip safety it, you have has an optional thumb safety okay and i if tell you everyone want a safety get the thumb safety and get some hold grips for 20 bucks are they still 20 bucks yeah yeah if not less they slide right up on and they'll keep that grip safety depressed the whole time <laughs> you're good to go and you can have yeah so you can deactivate that and if you want a safety order it with the thumb safety and voila there you go does it have that big boat paddle safety like it's m and p or does it have not, the little shield safety? so it's it's kind of a boat paddle so it's kind oh, of it sucks don't it, get it it sucks because don't it's not it. flush <laughs> it actually sticks it's not you know flush like up and down it's it's side to side and so the problem with the safety for a while a high grip was that you'd shoot it and you kick the safety on every time i did it out here i brought i bought an mp with the boat paddle safety on it i remember uh, yeah came I remember. out here and when you grip high uh this big piece hunk of plastics hanging out off the side you accidentally engage the safety it yeah. don't make a click it don't make a sound it just goes and you ready to fire and eat. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and so the, i the shield safety is in uh, is flush to the gun you got to get in there and push it it's nice it gives a nice feedback uh when you, it, a nice click and shift you know it's on you know it's off that's good little safety that boat paddle safety garbage oh yeah uh, yeah terrible For if it's sure. the same safety i've seen i've seen yeah terrible not not good but no when i'm ready to sh if i have to shoot i don't want to eat yeah. oh man yeah <laughs> oh that's that's so that sucks so the closet it went never to come out so i'm looking at the picture of this gun the best i can and see i just you see how the see the grip safety on it oh that don't look bad no but you get up above it and it oh, i'm talking about the thumb safety oh there's the grip safety. no Should there's be? no thumb safety that's not a thumb safety what this yeah no that's a slide lock good grief you got to work that one don't you yeah okay I see. What so you're but i would at the very least make the grip safety go up a little higher maybe i don't know yeah. it, it's just a bad but i'd love to get my hands i want to take a look at it and yeah give a fact, real life i'll probably give it a, a couple weeks and i'll go hunt one out in the store and take a look at it and see what i think it looks a lot more boxier than the actual easy does so i'd be interested to see how it's gonna how it's gonna do Hey, I got big news, by the way. Okay. But I'm not a 1911 guy. Okay, we, I'm going to lay that out there. So I have my women's group classes, my the academy. We're finishing up this month. Actually, I got one of their classes will roll over into next month because I think we have to push it because of Thanksgiving. But uh, the end of the year, we have our gun cleaning classes, and this is how <laughs> this is how this is how this is how this goes. Okay. You invite a bunch of people over and let them clean your guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. So this All is, right, we're gonna practice. <laughs> so this this is how this this is how this is going. I they yeah, a bunch of women show up anywhere from ten to fourteen, right? And they, they bring their firearms, and a lot of them have been here numerous times, and so they know how to take their guns apart. But it's mostly just it's me walking around making sure everyone who's new knows how to do knows how to do it. And in my beginners class, there's a lot of newbies, and so it's like, how do I get this apart? How do I get this apart? And usually there'll be like a handful of shields or some easies, and I can say, let me show you, and I you know I'll cover like three or four people at a time, right? right and occasionally i'm like look up a youtube video look up a youtube video i'll be back in a minute right because i don't under some of these guns i just don't know there's tricks to them yeah some of them are ridiculous this woman that ruger this oh, this man. one lady brings in well if they have one of those weird old i call them weird old but like the target 22s yeah i'm like you're on your own yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> don't bring me that crap. I, I, I took it apart one time. I had one when I was a kid, and I, I took it apart and cleaned it. Yeah. I got one when I'm older, and I <clears throat> just re- reminiscing my childhood. I took it apart and cleaned it, and I couldn't get it back. <laughs> I brought it to the gun store. Y'all fix it and send it back. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them it's broke. That's funny. <laughs> so actually, this is this is this is kind of what happened. Was it with the twenty two? So this this lady was taken. She's gonna be. She I think she's signing up again for like her third year, right? She she cleans her guns at home now, right? I mean, I got them to the point where they're comfortable doing this stuff on their own. So she brought in her husband's gun, mm-hmm. Springfield Armory, nineteen eleven. Oh man! I'm like Todd's never taken a nineteen eleven part in his life. I'm like, she goes. So I brought my husband's gun and slap, dropped it on. I'm like, oh my gosh. All I'm thinking is, and this is all I know about taking a 1911 apart because I, I don't own one. I've never had to take one apart is the term idiot scratch, right? Because some people push on the button and end up scratching a nice, anyhow, I'm looking at it and I'm like, you're going to have to, you got to, you got to YouTube this, right? So she found it and we got it apart and it really wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. She got it cleaned and I tell you, these women... When they clean their guns, they clean their guns. Like it makes, like they'll have a pile of of freaking you know cleaning patches there. That I mean, they clean them till they're they are not dirty anymore. Me, I'm just like, it looks good, a little yeah. oil, throw it back together, <laughs> smooth the humps out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's good enough. I clean my I clean mine with feet. a with a little razor knife so I can kind of scratch at the <laughs> carbon deposits. Yeah. <laughs> but anyhow. She got it all cleaned and she's putting it back together and she's like, help, I need help. And so she, we get the video up again and we do exactly what this video says. And I can't get, you gotta kick out the the slide the, the slide lock, right? The slide stop. You gotta to take it apart, you gotta kick it out. Right. Then you gotta flip it up and you put it back together, you gotta flip it, you, you gotta put the barrel and the spring right. and this bushing thing in. And there's like a little round thing that like it moves. Yeah, it wiggles. Yeah. And so, just swinging around. So tell me if I correct me if I'm wrong, and I can't figure this out. That goes in, and and you have to when you put in your slide stop, mm-hmm. it goes right through that little thing that moves, right? Yeah. I, we were doing that, and but I couldn't. We couldn't get her slide. Sometimes you gotta wiggle a little, little bit. I, I, we wiggled. Yeah. We we did everything short of. Well, I didn't beat on it with a hammer. I thought about it. But I mean, it'd go clear through the other side, but it like the slide stop, like it, it like hung out like that far. And then you like couldn't rack the slide. And we finally, we tried for 45 minutes. And finally, and I know, I know I'm the gun guy. Like I should know. I took it all apart and we put it in a bag. And she goes, I'm just going to take it back to my husband. And Good have idea. Put it <laughs> she goes, at least it's clean. I'm like, yeah, tell him, you tell him, you say, look, we cleaned it for you. But Todd says you need to practice. Yeah, that's right. So put it back together. <laughs> well, the, get familiar with your gun. We wanted to show you how clean it was. I know that. I know that. What, what's go, I know that what is going to happen is she's get, she took it home. I don't know this for sure. She hasn't reported back yet. He probably went to click, 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 click. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I mean, I'm thumbing that. I'm like, oh, push that yeah. stop in, and it, I'm thinking it's going to click. It don't. I, I don't know. It, it, I don't know, oh, man. Don't know it's a 1911. It was pretty. It was a Springfield Army. I'm not Revenge was, of the 1911. I'm just like I'm done. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not freaking. I'm not freaking doing this. I can't figure. I can't figure this crap out at all. No. I have. I have one gun. It was a, another. Uh, it was a. And I'm. I'm gonna butcher it. Uh, a what is that large 45 I have with 16 rounds that has all the crap. It, okay, I had an FN rifle, the automatic, yeah, three hundred eight. I uh, can't remember the name of it. But they were oh, it was supposed to be an awesome, awesome automatic three hundred eight. Right. Um, I started to take it apart and clean it, and the people, uh, the gunsmiths, told me, "Don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't bring it to us. Don't." Yeah, and he said, "Bring it to us, uh, and I'm gonna charge you because it is bad." Yeah. Oh, other than that, just get rid of it. And I'm like. I never cleaned it. I got rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's that bad, how good of a rifle is it? It's got to go. Yeah, yeah. You got to be able to. You got to be able to take it apart. Yeah, they said no, no. This is uh, Browning was a revolutionary. He genius, but he was a watchmaker, man. <laughs> he's very, he's very detailed. He was, he was a watchmaker. That was a precision instrument. Yeah, yeah. And now, man, eh, not so much. 
now it's three four parts yeah well <laughs> they got to make it easy right i mean they do now yeah they have to, yeah but so. back then he was he was very good but he was a watchmaker and this was based off his design of he was a lunatic well, come on man <laughs> can't you say that he was a lunatic <laughs> I know. I just crossed some some line. I'm sure. I'm curious. Is there a story behind that? Or no, just, I just said you're that. Just throwing it. Out I just there. throwing it out okay. there. Just I'm making news. This is how they do okay. that. I'm oh, just, okay. Okay. I just, see. I'm just making. You're being news. viral. Yeah. I'm being viral. You gotta. You gotta shock jock them. This podcast <laughs> will never go viral. You gotta shock jock them. It's not a thing. <laughs> Tell them that John Moses Browning was terrible. I listened to a podcast earlier today. And, uh, I mean, it's not on guns or anything like that. There's a couple guys, and they talk about just whatever, like, you know, supernatural stuff, right? Just yeah. Freaking, they've been doing it a lot less than me. They just hit a million downloads. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I don't know. I should probably be a lot more consistent. Yeah, yeah. Well, we need to go hunting for Bigfoot. We, we can. We're going to kill Bigfoot. Yeah, I'll take, I got a 12-gauge lever action over there. Okay, with a screw missing. With a screw, it's, it'll be okay. A club, we can use it as a club. On Bigfoot? <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> make sure you make sure you record it. We got to make some TikToks. <laughs> yeah, well, what we're going to do is we're going to make podcasts, and what we'll do is record sound clips as we out hunting for Bigfoot, and we come I back to it. the campfire each night, and we'll discuss what we went through and play the clips and say we're closing in on him. And okay. we're always closing in on him. We're never going to find him. But we're always closing well, in on him. Well, that did go viral. And I've got, a, I've, got, <laughs> I've got my original, my original portable. Remember my recording device we used to Oh, yeah, use? yeah, yeah. I still have that. That thing cost me an arm and a leg. And what we used it for like two months or something. It's outrageous, ain't it? It is. Yeah, you know, you know about that. What's that? It's recording equipment, buying way more than what you need. <laughs> well... <laughs> mine i'm still trying to figure <laughs> see now they got so much in it that it took me a while to figure out the roadcaster yes uh and i got it tweaked and i'm like okay okay i can do this now this one has so many more features and it's got <laughs> amps in it so i'm right trying to find your volumes yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. And yeah. everything and it's 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 off and i'm like i'm gonna have to spend some time or go back to the old roadcaster one you tell you get that little one ironed out figured out if i put it back in the box i ain't taking it sell a bite from me for like 50 bucks oh shit man what a deal a do- uh, well I, a dollar you were selling guns for a dollar 20 minutes ago i was but i'm determined to make this work it's, okay i think it's the amps in it because it has amps on every channel okay already built in so it's boosted and i'm like you got to turn it it's not it's not it's not like touch it and leave it not only that but i can yeah you just well i've got a 12 gauge the lever action it's missing a screw i'll trade you for it see with this you got a lever <laughs> no you comment. turn it up you turn it down with this other one you got boosters in the back so up and down don't work starts from zero to a hundred you can be at a, a hundred on one already so it's gotcha it's gotcha. you got to just figure it out yeah it's it's a mess so what do we got here i see i'm looking at your notes your electronic notes and we got this glock switch. i have better notes for your podcast than i do mine i ain't that terrible this was like spur of the moment man it was. i love it this is great we used to do this crap all the time it's so much easier with two people oh it is it it's it, so much it's, it, yeah. it is it's nice. very much uh, there's a Glock Switch epidemic. Have you heard of Glock Switches? I've heard of the N- Nintendo Switch. Okay. <laughs> there is a Glock Switch, and there is audio and video of people using these in the streets. Oh. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon <laughs> to go in the back of a Glock. I suggest you that you, you purchase it for uh, airsoft guns. I've got airsoft guns. And they are identical to Glock guns. Yes, they are. Licensed and everything. So the switch goes into the back of the airsoft gun, can also go into the back of a regular Glock. And they make them fully automatic. And there's videos of, and hadn't heard anything from the ATF on this one yet. Oh, you will. Yeah. They can move on this right now and stop it. All right. Yeah. 
they're letting it get out there, turn into a problem, and then we got a gun. We got to we, we got to step gotta, in and take care of this. We got to get these Glocks off the street. Yeah, yeah. So these fools are out here dumping thirty round Glock mags in like four or five seconds. <laughs> so it's making them even worse shots. <laughs> they're awful. <laughs> there is an actual shooting on this page. Uh, why not? I'm gonna try and do this, uh, and they are shooting at somebody. They missed them with every shot. Okay. And we're, we're waiting. Yeah, buffer, buffer. What's going on? Buffer, buffer. Oh, Push the play, dude. Oh, she. What'd you do? <laughs> Missed everybody. Sounds like it. Sounds like one of my Idaho enhanced permit classes. <laughs> <laughs> that was just two guys getting out of the car with Glock switches. They missed everybody. They hit, they hit a 16-year-old girl <laughs> that was a we're bystander. Not, we're, not, we're not laughing, but I'm listening to that noise, and you know what I want to say? It sounds like when people go out to the uh, gravel pits to train. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's mag up as quick as we can and call it good. They were shoot, shooting at a guy in an SUV. <laughs> you could see the brake lights popping off. The, <laughs> they were shooting it all over the place and couldn't hit shit. I'm like... First of all, you can't shoot, and then you're going to get a fully automatic Glock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where you can't, nobody can hold on to that yeah. on target. Well, they think they can. Well, it, it's it's impressive. It's, it's scary as shit. They probably, they, they, probably, <laughs> they probably tried it out with their airsoft first. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you can get these on Amazon. and How much are they? <laughs> and should we put that information out? <laughs> After. You can get it if you want. It's going to be illegal real soon. Um, but the problem is they can stop this now. Um, get hold of Jeff Bezos. He shouldn't be selling that shit on Amazon. They're allowing this to get <laughs> on the street. Now, this is bad. Yeah. I, they want it out there. Yeah. This is something that I am not for any infringements or anything, but I don't want fools out there with Glocks that are spraying like that. It's like, you can't hold that. You're not going to hit this. I can see for the for the fun factor of it, but well, here's the here's the thing. So, should they regulate that? Eh, I'm, it, no, maybe no. But you know what? I is like the bump stocks, right? Yeah. I don't think they should regulate those either. Nope. You shouldn't take that. But you know what? It's it in my mind, it was a fun range toy. In just a lot like, of ways, this is as much safer. Just safer like Glock. yeah, but just like this might be a fun range toy. Yeah but they shouldn't go after them right it's our right to have them and if you if they take them they take them I yeah. mean, look at that it, they're, they're pointless upgrades they're if they're even upgrades they're probably they they're probably fun, make the their fun target grade. a lot safer they're they're fun grades they are they i are. like that fun they grades. Are. if they were legal i would buy one you heard that here fun grades if they if <laughs> if, if i thought they would stay legal for a minute i, I would buy one just to do it and it'd be like because i hate glocks anyway so <laughs> yeah yeah i would ram it in my glock and say there you go <laughs> all right well that's that sucked we think we shot a bird so that's that's interesting because you brought this up about a month uh, or a month or so back and i just i guess i hadn't heard anything on it but and they still really haven't heard anything on it because they're not pushing it they're not going after it they're not, not getting press they're not dealing with it right yeah so interesting stuff but it's yeah if you I tell you what, if I had somebody shooting at me with a Glock or a, somebody with a Glock switch, I'd probably ask for the switch. Yeah? You ain't hitting shit. <laughs> well, most people can't hit you with the Glock anyway. The triggers are so atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be shooting birds. <laughs> it's going straight up, man. <laughs> oh, man. Um so let I me. I saw bald eagles talking about birds in Idaho the other day. Oh, was it today? Because today's voting day. No, it wasn't today. It wasn't they were celebrating a week or so ago? Celebrating our our freedom. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a picture here. Those bald eagles are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Oh, they just, how close were you to it? I don't know, uh, fifty yards, sixty yards. Oh, by the way, you got to look. I'm going to show you these pictures, and then we're going to discuss. Okay. Go ahead and swipe. I'm trying to figure out what the first one is. It's a dog. Oh. And swipe swipe to the next dog. Did you find the next dog? Yeah. Okay. And there should oh, be, no. They should, <laughs> there should be one more. Oh, Lord. He's back. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. And I actually posted these pictures on. And look what the dog is wearing. I look, see it. Look what's on the back of the dog. I got it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, years ago. Unbelievable. It, was, it, got, it had to be two or three years ago, right? 
we there was a uh we always talk about this gentleman by the name of what lucia black lucia black voda inc yeah lucius black crazy <laughs> crazy crazy mad man mad man and go and we always every now and then when we talk about him again like we always kind of explain it. Go go look up Boda Inc. Look up uh, a Lucius Black. You'll find all you need to know, and you'll be going like, what? <laughs> this is amazing. I will say the dude has provided us with very, just a very, a lot. Yeah. A lot, very few. A lot of good, high-quality, entertaining podcasts. Yeah, he never disappoints. He never, he never disappoints. He never disappoints, and he disappeared. I bet he's got a Glock switch. He, he might. I bet he does. So he's disappeared now. He disappeared for a while, and mm-hmm. and I tracked him down <laughs> through different channels on the interwebs. And the dude was he was he's into photography now. Oh, and remember when he started oh, getting into man. that weird stuff? Yeah, like he was shooting porn, yeah. <laughs> and then he totally disappeared. Well, I am a member of a page where they do nothing but make fun of this poor guy. Okay, and someone is he still going? What what name is he going by? Uh, Bokashi. 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 Total total reinvention. He's, he's on Instagram. He's not on Facebook anymore. Bokashi underscore HTX. And now he's got himself a dog. <laughs> I see that a well armed dog. He's got himself a dog, and he's tr- this thing's a puppy, and he's got a freaking muzzle on it. Unbelievable. He's training this dog because he thinks he needs more protection. Okay, well. and what's what's interesting about and I've seen some videos right. I went to his, and pulled up some videos off Instagram. Old Lucius Black, right? Bokashi. He's got this dog running around. His dog is wearing a like a bulletproof vest, and this dog is packing his extra mags around for him. Oh, I thought that was a whole firearm on his back. No, that's an extra mag. Okay. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> So I've seen lots of jokes before on on uh, on Facebook and memes about hey where it's like it's not it, there's no state where it's illegal for a dog to carry a gun and you see these funny pictures of these dogs with these vests on carrying it wouldn't surprise me uh, if this guy comes up with something like that and actually does it but go to Washington uh, D.C. <laughs> yeah 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 go do it. anyhow that I mean that's all I I kind of started to dig and I couldn't really come up with a lot of stuff but. Uh, Anyhow, go check out Bokashi underscore HTX on Instagram, and you can, if you are new to the podcast, if you just if you're not new to the podcast, you know who we're talking about. If look you're up new, the, look up Voda Inc. Look, look up the up past the history. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He disappeared for a while. Ooh, well, he must have got somebody killed. Oh my! That was that was stab, shoot, stab, shoot. Oh, he was awful. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Terrible. He's uh. Whatever happened to the guy? The the, the Detroit guy. Oh, he's uh, 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 he's still around. Detroit, uh, D- was it threat management, urban management, or whatever? Okay. Yeah, he's still around. He just posted something with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> oh, he's he's everybody loves him, man. He's awesome. <laughs> urban threat survival techniques or whatever. That guy is something. That guy's great. Yeah, Snoop should hire him as his uh, personal security. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Yeah. So, I don't know. Be are, awesome. These guys are super entertaining, and when I get a little bored, I do a little digging around and trying to come up with what I come up with, and it's very entertaining. He would be great to have around for uh, hire as your security, as, as long as he could shut up. I th- who, if, if his ego wanted to tell your real security, the Detroit guy, him, yeah, that would get old. It's well, like, you know that they were doing, and go, you guys can look them up. They were doing a ton of like, uh, like like uh instagram videos and like tiktok videos people are making fun of him right where they're sitting in a car <laughs> and the guy like points a gun at him right and they try and he tries it. to take it and then all of a sudden you know, they got little angel wings <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty funny stuff Voda inc was on the same level uh he was but he was way more serious yeah he I, thought he was he thought he was serious i don't know like, i don't know i think both these guys believe their own bullshit maybe they're brothers I don't know. That would be, uh, I don't know. Crazy. You might as well go to a sheet of Kim's ninja school and learn that. Well, there's a, who there's a, there's a, there's a martial arts guy. I know we've talked about this before, but it's great. There's a martial arts guy. What is his name? Master. Um, what does he do? Groin stomp. Groin stomp. Master. Uh, oh, the fake guy. Uh, yeah. The guy in the red. He's always Ken? master Ken. 
Like he actually went over to that yeah, Detroit yeah, yeah. and they did a video together. Yeah. And I honestly think the Detroit guy thought it was serious. Did you ever watch the video with a? Uh, I can't think of his name. The uh, farms attorney he used to work for the Second Amendment. The, the, the uh, damn, drawing blanks. Uh, black guy. Uh, oh, Coley Co- Co- Noor. Yeah, I never saw that video, but I, I've heard about it. Great, great, great guy, and he was a masterful. He the way he, I, I don't know how he contained himself. Coleon's very intelligent. He is very he, well. Yeah, he's 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 yeah he's an attorney. He's put together. He's, yeah, not only that, he's he, he's to hold that together. That took training. That took not only intelligence. That took training. This dude was so good. He's sitting down with this clown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talking this clown nonsense. And I could almost see a couple times where he, he had to... He started to smirk a little. He had to readjust. He, no, he was... He, but almost, almost. Right. It, it, dude was so good. And that's what made it the video so much better. Ah, uh, he was great. <laughs> I love him. I wish he wouldn't... I wish he'd use his real name instead of that Coleon Noir stuff. Do you, oh, is that... Has he got a real name? Or that's not his real... I don't know. Uh, that's his... Pseudo name? Yeah. I wish he'd quit. It's uh, a weird name, man. I wish Don't he'd, do that. I wish he'd step away from the NRA. He's gone from there, ain't he? I think he still does some NRA type. I could be wrong. I th- Pretty sure I, they parted ways. Did they? I hope so, because that was like... A good while back, yeah. It's, uh, that was like dragging me down a little bit. I was like, yeah, oh, come on. Nah, he, he was a great spokesperson, and uh, he, he was so much better. <clears throat> you listen to him speak, and then you listen to... Uh, what's his name speak? The leader of the... NRA. What's his name? Uh, Wayne Lapierre. Wayne Lapierre was terrible. <laughs> oh, he's a spokesman. That's all he is. Yeah, but he was terrible. He yeah. was terrible. You listen to Cole El Noir speak, and it's intelligent and clear and smooth, and you listen to uh, what the other guy speak, uh, he was terrible. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to read something. He tried to emote it when he couldn't. It was just <laughs> not good. It was just fake and phony and plastic. It just wasn't good. They should have got rid of him, and but... He's yeah. got his grip in power, and he ain't going anywhere. No, he's not at all. He likes buying them $30,000 suits. Yeah, I would too. Shit. Okay, let me... Digging, um, digging, digging. I'm, I, I'm, I'm looking talking. for something, huh? Uh, yeah. I put the... And you don't know about it because you're not on Facebook at all? No, I don't do that. Where is I'm it? back on Twitter. You're back on Twitter? Yeah, since Musk took over, we're going to see what it does. Uh-oh. Look at this. Look at this. Avidity Arms PD-10. <laughs> The PD Tim. Come on, man. Dude, have... No, no, no. It says right there. The team was making arrangements for distribution uh, in 2022. At that ma- that NASGW. So I think they've actually got good prototypes. I think they've made a few and they're handing them out now for people to check out and look at. And then he made another post. They made another post later that day. Oh, let me find it. I keep an eye on this stuff, by the way. It's important to me. Where is it at? It's right here. If you buy one of the first PD-10s in 2023, yeah, great. it will be gray and black. That's all I need to keep me confident. Okay. I'm excited. It should be a PD-15 by now. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, when you purchase it in 2023, it's already out of warranty. <laughs> so, so, so the, the, it's sitting in a warehouse for so, 10 years. So the mastermind behind this is a guy, a trainer, right. by the name of Rob Pincus. And he owns, a, I think he either owns or he co-partnered with uh, Avidity Arms, and they're the ones that are creating this, right? right? And so I posted this, and Mo, she listened to the podcast over in Boston. She went ahead and she saw me, and she went ahead and tagged Rob Pincus in it. And goes, <laughs> Rob Pincus, this man's been waiting a long time for this gun. He freaking responded on my post, gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> Fingers crossed, and I'm like... Hey, send us one. We'll do a podcast on it. That's we'll, right. we'll do I'll, a review. I'll test her out. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Well, fingers crossed, man. Maybe he's gonna well, they've already had it out at Shot Show. <laughs> How long ago was that? A, a few years ago, I think. They still going with the single stack? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we've moved on to double stacks now. I'm not quite sure that the industry has moved on to double stacks. Yeah, well, that was so far back. That was before the little mini double that's stack like, guns. That's like, like five the, gens ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> that was when the that was coming out to compete with the shield. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> in fact, Shield's gone back to double stack now. <laughs> Have they gone to double stack? Yeah, they got the Shield Plus. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's was... kind of not a Shield though. It's more of a full size. No, it's a little. Really? The magazines are stubby. Okay. And what it is, fat, and then it goes and it narrows at the top. Okay. Well, maybe I didn't see that. I, I yeah. saw it, but I don't. They're recall. not. It's a shield, but it's, they're not bad little guns. You kind of like the shields, though. Yeah, I like the shield. It's a truck gun. Yeah. Because it's got the safety. It's got a good safety. Yeah, yeah. That is firm and won't get bumped out. So it's a good truck gun. You know, yeah. Just get them without a safety. And it's for its truck, man. Hey. It, it gets banged around. <laughs> I, I want it on there. Hey, you didn't know this. But I got a Canic in black and gold. Hey, you got your Canic, yes. Black and gold to the Super Bowl. <laughs> black and gold. <laughs> yeah, there you go. New Orleans. Um, where is this at? I have. I you didn't know this. I am now a an author. Oh, what? I'm an author. Okay, what'd you do? I wrote an ebook. Okay, it's on it's on Amazon. You can buy it. Really? Yeah. Okay. What's it about? It's called. It's about. It's called Train at Home: Simple Dry Fire Drills to Make You a Better All Around Shooter. So you didn't send this to me. I didn't know this. Have, it's published, man. It is published. And so it is, it's full of drills that you can do at home during the winter months or whenever, right? You should do them all the time, right? Um, just dry fire stuff, trigger press stuff. It, we, we, you know, right-handed, left-handed stuff, how to draw and get on target, stuff you can do with an unloaded gun. As far as even, you know, using some kind of barricades, how do you kind of shoot around a door? How do you shoot, you know, through uh, around a barricade? That kind of thing. Yeah, how to... Gun. How to draw, how to advance on the target, go left, go right, getting off the X type stuff. If you had a forty five, you could cut out half that training. No good. Just Lord. shoot through the door and boom. Here we go. It. Here we go. <laughs> just kill everybody. But if you, if anyone might be interested in that ebook, it's 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 like how nine, do you find it? It's nine ninety nine. Did, I didn't even see it. Yeah, it is on Amazon because you're not is on it under Facebook. your name. Is it, under? it is under my name, Todd Eccles. Okay. It is. You can find it on Amazon. It's for the Kindle. And anywhere well, you're else. You're on Twitter now. I'm on Twitter. I I know. I'm, I'm on, on Twitter. Patriot Forgotten De America. Patriot Defense is on Twitter. I just signed up back up. I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. I signed I up. I might delete it. I had one account under Todd and then I went to Patriot Defense and uh I looked at it the first day and I haven't been back on. Dude, it's so hard to keep up with all of it. It's hard to keep it's, up it's with a, all of it. It's a lot of information. I do have I do have let me turn this down because this is gonna. I gotta see what I gotta see what we're up to. Okay. I do have my TikTok still. Uh oh. Okay. And I did a video the other day. Is what? It, you TikToking? Uh, Sixty thousand views, almost seventy thousand views. And it's about nineteen elevens. Okay. And I've got tons of comments on it, and I probably don't want to answer any of them because there are these people dogging me on hate on the 19 oh you were trashing the 19 oh, pretty much that's why you got 60,000 <laughs> look at this son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty much it's uh it's something it's like when your son chooses when your son is finally old enough to choose his um everyday carry and he says he wants a 1911 <laughs> you're like Ooh. oh i did wrong where did i go wrong <laughs> So there we are, all over the social medias, okay. all over them. Where okay, where do you find? I don't TikTok. Tell where, tell everybody where to find you on TikTok. On TikTok, I am Patriot Defense. I am, I am Patriot Defense. Uh, just at Patriot Defense on TikTok. Okay, and um, I'm on the Instagram. No, at, get out of here. Yeah, it's that's Patriot Defense one three. Okay, on Instagram, and then I'm on Facebook under Patriot Defense. Um, Look at you. I'm on Twitter, Patriot Defense. Yeah, I'm on everything, man. I'm good to go. And now I'm putting together a, and I'm, I'm, I'm a gathering emails. I got a bunch. And actually, hopefully it'll go out tomorrow or Thursday, but I'm going to do a monthly newsletter. I'm all over this. Look at you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Grinding. I'm grinding. Grinding. With my feet up in my recliner in front of the wood stove now that it's cold <laughs> out. <laughs> my wife my wife leaves to go to work and the kids go to school. She goes, bye, honey. Have a good day. What do you got planned? I'm working. Like Alex Stein, you a pimp on a blimp, man. <laughs> That's right. I'm, Getting your grind on. I'm sitting in the recliner in my, sweat, <laughs> in my sweatpants and warm socks. And <laughs> we're working hard, man. We are working hard. So You're doing a lot more. I don't do any of that. 
I, well, when you call me, what are you doing? I'm just sitting here. I'm actually at work. I'm writing books, man. Okay. See, I'm, I didn't I'm know. writing books. I got a. I You're got lightning in the world. Yeah, I've got an online training version of this book as well. It's not up yet because I'm actually the online version of it. Does the that training come with the book. Um, no, it's separate. It's going to have videos. Okay. Uh, so everything that I go over in the book, every chapter, I'm actually making videos and I'm putting them to each chapter on the online training portion of it. So if you just want the book and you want to, you know, you just want to kind of go with it on your how on much your is own, the book? Nine ninety nine. How much is the training video? When they come out? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Probably with the videos and everything, that's probably going to be like forty, fifty bucks. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it all. It's a lot of time and effort to make these videos. And what? platform and you could on. find that on teachable and i've already it's, ah, look at you yeah i know it's an online uh learning platform and uh, i'm signed up and i've actually got some other beginners type training with videos and stuff on there already a bunch of drill videos that you can go up and get like like, man, you have been on the grind. I, I thought you were sitting at home. No, God, feeding no. Feeding chickens, man. No. <laughs> feeding chickens. Shooting chickens. <laughs> it's better than, never mind, better than choking the chicken. Never mind. <laughs> but, um, no. And everybody just can't. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a little, I got some drill videos up on Teachable, and I, I've, I've put those links up before, and I'll do it again. But all these links will be in my newsletter that I'm going to send out. So if you want to be in the newsletter for all you out in uh, podcast land, um, Get me your email. Okay. Send me your email, and I'll tell you how to how to get me that email. Get me your email here in just a minute. But I got lots of little drill videos, like five bucks a video, right? Uh, how to draw the gun, how to do this, how to do that, different things you can do on the range. Plus, I got a safety like a like a like a first time gun owner safety and fundamentals course, and you can actually get the fundamentals course. I think it's like it's like I think I got to have to correct myself. I think it's about forty bucks, and then each individual like drill video if you wanted anything extra it's like five bucks but you can buy them all for like 50 bucks it's not a bad deal okay it's not a bad deal and i i'm i'm not i don't, I don't how much is involved in that a lot because i have to write everything up i've got to like lay it all as far as what what do you, i mean how many videos how many different uh, oh i think kind I, of package I i've guess. got like i think i've got like six videos up there six like different drill videos uh -huh. and then um the fundamentals i'd have to look at it again i think it's it's got videos some videos as well to it and then it's got extra drill videos like okay let's let's work on um you know different drills like the 50 50 drill stuff like that stuff you can work on on the range to make you all that much better right um to work on your trigger press and stuff you know just fun stuff right uh, you know, better than just going and doing like you sounded, you know, you, you played earlier. Everyone's just like, oh, 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 I'm Terrible. done. I trained. We, did, we I ran through three boxes of bullets yeah. in like 10 minutes. What's funny is that was Shreveport, Louisiana. And the dude <laughs> jumped out, sprayed the, sprayed the vehicle down, just <laughs> sprayed it down. And then, and then he's out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Didn't hit the guy he was aiming for. And I'm like, be a perfect time for the dude to just, just pop up with a single shot pop 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 and kill you oh yeah yeah because now you're out of ammo yeah that's they don't care they just want to look cool man it, it, it spray it, cool. so it's spray it everybody. spray and pray right. and then run okay that's pretty much what they're doing over there yeah they get those fun sticks and they don't last long in that with with the yeah if they don't jam switches. But yeah yeah i wonder if they i wonder if they are prone to jamming i don't know i don't think so I've seen a lot of them get dumped in seconds. Yeah, they never jam. I've right. never seen one jam. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to get my info, and we're going to wrap this thing up because I'm getting some urgent text messages from my daughter and my son-in-law saying, are you busy? We really need you to call us back. Okay. And that makes me a little nervous. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Call the bail bondsman. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Exactly. So I tell you what, thanks for coming out. Yep. I do appreciate it. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can call me. You can text me, area code 620-794-6223. It's area code 620-794-6223. Uh, call me, text me, say hi, tell me a story. Maybe you want to be on the podcast. If you want to get me your email address, you can just text it to me. You can also find us on pay, uh, excuse me, uh, Facebook, and you can message it to me on the Patriot Defense Facebook page or any of those other social media apps that we talked about a little while ago. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. Do you want to join uh, Patreon? You want to help support the podcast? This stuff's not free. 
It's like it's a little bit of money every month to put out a podcast. Not much, but it's a little bit. I could always use a little bit of help. Um, it's like five bucks a month, and you can get some extra videos and stuff like that. See, I've been grinding. You have been grinding. I've been grinding. So I got my I'm getting my hustle on. <laughs> <laughs> but check that out. Until then, you guys all have a great week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.